brain tech here where tech is made simple so if you are using google chrome we are going to be seeing a change in the release schedule for the browser starting early next year and this is according to a recent announcement which was posted by google on the 21st of december where they mentioned that from chrome 110 an early stable version as they are calling it will be released to a small percentage of users now as many of you may know who uh, do view this channel or who are using google chrome the current stable version is 108 so that means in two versions time with google chrome version 110 uh, we are expecting to see this change um, to the release schedule um, starting early next year now in that announcement google has said that from chrome 110 the initial release date to stable will be one week earlier this early stable version they say will be released to a small percentage of users with the majority of people getting the release a week later at the normal scheduled date so um, it's going to be interesting to see who that small percentage of users actually are who will basically be insiders for google testing the google chrome web browser before it does roll out to the stable channel and um, from chrome 110 they have changed some key dates uh, for the different uh, releases of the browser so if we head over to the chrome platform status yeah we can see chrome 110. now first of all the beta is going to be rolling out um, from january the 12th to january the 19th um, starting early next year and if we look at the stable that has been changed f originally from the 7th and has been moved one week earlier now and is now been moved to the 1st of february 2023 where before it was the 7th so that means that um, so-called early stable version as they are calling it will be rolled out and start to be rolled out on the 1st of february where that small percentage of users will test the so-called um, early stable version and then um, once those bugs are ironed out then um, it will be released to the general public a week later so it's going to be interesting to see how this actually all does pan out and if this is actually going to work or not now um basically google says their reason um, for making this change and i'm quoting this they say by releasing stable to a small percentage of users early this will basically give them the chance to monitor the release before it rolls out to all of their users and if any as they are calling show-stopping issues bugs as an example are discovered it can be addressed uh, while the impact is relatively small so this is like a two-edged sword and um, it will be a better chance for them to iron out any bugs before it does roll out to the stable channel but also and um, it's also as mentioned going to be interesting to see who become the early insiders that small percentage of users they are calling who are actually going to test the browser so watch that space and that's going to be an interesting one going forward and as i have posted previously there's quite a lot happening with chrome version 110 rolling out in february next year and from that date the 7th of february onwards um when that does roll out to the general public as i have posted that's also when google will be ending support for google chrome on windows 7 and also windows 8 and 8.1 so a lot happening with google chrome rolling out early next year and um, from version 110 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one